so you don't listen to me correct. Okay, so uh, dynamic warm up or 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. We're gonna start with 50 toe taps, uh, 40 butt kicks, 30 high knees, 20 lunges, 10 forward, 10 backwards, and then 10 old man squats. All right, so whenever you are ready, we can go ahead with that. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. In three, two, one, go. Okay, 50 toe taps. Once you're done that, we're going to 40 butt kicks. 40 butt kicks. Forty butt kicks. Thirty high knees. Once you're done. 20 lunges, we're going to do 20 forward lunges and 20 reverse lunges. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so my announcement for the video, I sustained further injuries this past week and the knees are not okay. So I'm going to coach you through it verbally. Unfortunately, I will do what I can physically but lunges are not one of them okay so 20 forward and 20 reverse lunges Then finishing with 10 old man squats. We're gonna do one full round and one half round. 10 old man squats. Okay, once we're done, one full round, we are moving into a half round. So 25 toe taps. Twenty-five toe taps, twenty butt kicks, fifteen high knees. 10 lunges, we're gonna do side lunges for this round. And then five old man squats. Twenty-five, twenty, fifteen. 10 side lunges and five old man squats. Finish up that half round. We got two 18 minute stations today. The second station on Watt Up says it's nine minutes, but we extended it to 18. It does include some outdoor running or alternatives depending on what you have available and accessible. Uh, 
All right, uh, we are going to do an extended dynamic, uh, just like we've done last week or the last couple weeks. Okay, so uh, we're going to start with some broad jumps. We can do this kind of consecutive broad jumps, or we can do just stationary. So let's say um, between, yeah, between, around eight broad jumps. We'll say eight broad jumps if you are doing them. Stationary. Okay. All right, guys, go for it. Eight broad jumps. Just stationary for that one. And then we'll take a quick little breather when I let you know what's next. About eight broad jumps. When you are done that, we're going to do a length of walking lunges. So you can get some consecutive. Uh, I'm going to say around 12 to 14 total. Okay, around 12 to 14 total lunges. Twelve to 14 walking lunges. Once you are done that, we are going into our skater stride. So we're going to do 12 to 14 total again, just side to side, hopping, side to side. Twelve to fourteen again for that one. And our last one is a broad jump plus a vertical jump. Okay, broad jump plus a vertical jump. So you're going broad jump forward, vertical jump up. I don't know if that looks any different on my screen. I can't really do either of them right now. Broad jump forward, vertical jump up. Okay, we'll do six to eight of those. Then we will move on. We will move on. Okay, I'm going to share my screen and I will start explaining. Oh, okay, we're going to go into our rev it up first. Well, I'll just explain the stamina conditioning part A to start. Um, so we are going to do two rounds of 10 kettlebell swings or dumbbell swings, depending on what you have, plate swings even, uh, five thrusters and three devil's press. Okay. Devil's press reminder. That's kind of going down into <clears throat> that burpee position on the ground with your dumbbells on each side. Then you're coming up and you're swinging them through. Okay. So two rounds, this one is more of just like movement prep. Um, so don't worry too much about the pace that you're going at or the weight that you're using. Maybe you can start a little bit lighter with weight and then increase in that second round. Um, those three exercises are identical to what we're doing in our first station, except we are increasing the reps. Okay, so stamina conditioning station number one is every three minutes for 18 minutes or six rounds, 21 kettlebell swings, 
15 dumbbell thrusters and nine devil's press. Typically we would have about anywhere, let's say from 30 to 60 seconds rest at the end of that. So it'll take about two to two and a half minutes to complete each round. Then you rest till the, rest, till the buzzer. And then that next three minutes you continue again, starting back at the top. Okay, everyone was able to finish uh, the 21.15.9 in the three minute time. Uh, the rest kind of just was reduced with each round. Okay, does anyone have questions on that? Makes sense? Okay, so grab what you need. We're just gonna get started just on the rev it up part. So less reps for this one. It is 10, five, and three, two rounds. Okay, 10, five, and three, two rounds. Whenever you are ready, let's do it. So I might actually be able to do this one, kind of, sort of. I can do swings, I'll do presses instead of thrusters. And I don't know yet, instead of doubles press. Maybe some V-sits I can do. Okay, 10, five, and three. 10, five, and three. Two rounds, guys. Or sorry, five thrusters. And three devil's press to finish off our rev it up. Depending on weights that you guys have, um, devil's press can be done with one dumbbell. So if you only had one dumbbell or it was the more appropriate weight, you can alternate left and right for your devil's press. Okay, kettlebell swings again can be done with kettlebells, plates, dumbbells, whatever you got. Okay, uh, I'm gonna get that clock set up. 18 minutes on the clock. Every three minutes the buzzer will go. And just as a reminder, I'm going to do swings with you guys. I'm going to do presses instead of thrusters, and I'm going to do V sits instead of the um, devil's press. Okay? Just so you know what I'm doing. Somewhere between 30 to 60 seconds of rest in between each round. We are going in 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. Here we go. 21.
thrusters, 15 thrusters. Nine, devil's press. When you can't really bend your knee, it really forces you to do V sits instead of V tucks. Okay, we got just over a minute, guys. Well done. Looking strong, ladies. Okay, try to finish up in the next. 20 or so seconds, give yourself a little bit of rest before we go into round number two. This one's a, a tough station, it's a tough day overall. Okay, 30 seconds, take a breather, grab some water. Okay, 15, I'm trying to let that heart rate go down. Okay, you want us to try to stay consistent with each round instead of going hot out of the gate. Five, four, three, two, and one. 21, swings. Okay, on to those thrusters. Okay, we're about halfway, 90 seconds into round two. Okay, one minute left. One minute left. Finishing up, resting for the remaining time. Good job. Okay, two down. Lynn, do you have a partner over there again? A workout buddy? 
I do this morning. Nice. Okay, 15 seconds. We are going into round number three. After this, we're halfway. Five, four, three, two, and one. 21, Katie swings. Okay, on to those thrusters. Here about halfway. After this, we are halfway through, three rounds down, three to go. Aiming for between 30 and 60 seconds of rest in each round. Try to stay consistent. Woo! How are we doing? Feeling harder with each round or staying, staying consistent harder? <laughs> we just got to get through the next uh, one, maybe two, and then it's mentally we're good. Okay, 20 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, round number four.
Up team, 45 seconds. <laughs> Almost there. Okay, 30 seconds. We got two rounds left. Two rounds left. Four down, two to go. Going in 10. All right, here we go, crew. Two down, or four down, two to go. We only have one more after this round. Halfway, 30 down, or 90 down. Okay, team, you got 45 seconds. Finishing up round number five, and we have one more to go. One more to go. We'll have some decent rest in between stations, because next station's pretty tough too. But it includes some outdoor running, so depending on what you like. Okay, 20 seconds. Going in 10, final one. Five down, one to go. 21 plus 15 plus nine. What's that, 45 reps? I don't know. I'm not the greatest at mental math.
seconds to pace it up. Job, ladies. One minute. Forty-five. Finish strong. Job, Dennis. Yelling. Almost there. Another girl. Job team. Made it. Take a breather after that one. Okay, we got a couple minutes to rest, recover, and I will share. Uh, hang tight. That's not what I want to share. Okay, our final station is a climbing Murph. This looks a little overwhelming. Um, but basically, you are doing one Murph to start, which includes five burpees, 10 push ups, and 15 air squats. Okay, then we're gonna run. Um, it says, okay, so take, for instance, the stop sign, the church, Applewood, Burlington, Manchester. So we're gonna actually start with the Murph, 5, 10, 15, and then we're gonna go for a short run, okay, around 100 meters. Then we're gonna come back, we're gonna do Murph again, 5, 10, 15. We're gonna go for a little bit longer run to the church, for example, just to visualize how long that distance is. And then again, 5, 10, 15 in between, one round of Murph. Okay, and then that run is getting longer and longer. Applewood, Burlington, Manchester. If you're looking at uh, meters, uh, 100, 300, 600, 900, 1200. Okay, if you do not have access to the outdoors for running uh, and you don't have a treadmill for running, Indoors, you can do skipping, you can do toe taps, um, just some type of conditioning, rowing even, uh, some type of conditioning for that distance in between, okay? Do you ladies have any questions? Can you shout out when uh, somebody else on the screen comes back from a run? Because I'm gonna row, but it doesn't have a, a meter count, it only has like a stroke count. Okay. So when uh, Janice and Lynn are done their runs, then I'll know it's time to hop off, kind of. Okay, cool. Uh, and I'm on my bike, so okay. I'm the same as Tracy. <laughs> Jenny, it's up to you, honey. <laughs> I'm just moving outside. <laughs> Woo! I'm, I'm so fast. glad you're a long distance runner. You get that little stride going there, honey. <laughs> I'm not fast, though. That's okay. Okay. All good. Janice is setting the pace for us today. I feel like Janice normally sets the pace, but uh, I will wait for her to see her outdoor setup, and then we'll get going. So this one on Wad Up, it says it's a nine minute time cap. Uh, we all agreed this morning that a time, nine minute time cap is a little unrealistic. So we are actually setting the uh, clock for 18 minutes, okay? See what we can get done in the 18 minute time. Oh, it's hot out here. <laughs> you need one of those little uh, head umbrellas. You know, people wear them at the golf course. You need that for your run. Okay. 18 minutes, no Imam, just going. We will go in. Janice, are you ready? Good to go? Okay, we're gonna start with those 5, 10, 15. Okay, and then we're gonna go up to that run, or the bike, or the row. Five burpees, 10 push-ups, 15 air squats. Going 
in five, four, three, two, and one. Five, ten, fifteen. Fifteen air squats. Once you are done, going on that run. All right, she's going for it. Okay, we're on bending. I'm on toe taps. Okay, starting with those short distances. So it's gonna feel like we got more Murph than running by the end. Far more running than Murph. Murphying, maybe. Going for 18 minutes for this one. What up says nine. We're going 18. Two minutes down. Oh, there she is. All right, back to round two, five, five, 10, 15. Five, 10, 15. Push-ups. Fifteen air squats. Okay, going out for that second run. A little bit longer. Rowing, biking, toe taps. I finally figured out my exercises instead of the burpees, air squats, and push ups. Okay, four minutes down. Shot team. Should be about 90 seconds for her. Just keep rowing, just keep rowing. Okay, I 
officially five minutes in. 13 minutes left. Here she comes. Round number three, five, 10, 15. I'm doing some rows and some core. Five burpees. Ten push ups, fifteen air squats. What do we got to six hundred meter run? Okay, approaching that 10 minute mark. We are almost halfway. We are going for 18 minutes, 18 minutes. Approaching that halfway point. I'm gonna see Janice soon. Here she, oh, no, that's a car, not Janice. Mark. Come on. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, by that 7.30, ladies, if you want to hop off, you can go into your Merv 5, 10, 15. There she is. Back to it, six minutes. Twelve minutes down, six minutes to go. We will go until, yeah, let's say six, that two and a half minute mark, around two minutes. Then we'll aim for one more round of Murph. Maybe 90 seconds even. Okay, final five minutes. 13 down, five to go. to our final round of Murph. As for anyone who did the running part today, uh, there are a few people that finished in an 18 minute time cap, but no one finished in the nine minute time cap. That's for sure. I'd say maybe the earliest was like 16, 17 or the quickest for time, 16, 17, of the official lengths of the LP distances at least. I'm not sure about the meters distance. Okay, we got three and a half minutes left. Waiting on the return of Janice Collins. She's our pacer for the 8 a.m. class. If you are running and you're already back, that is cool. You can continue on. Thinking we got about one minute left-ish, and then Janice will be back. Don't take my word for it. It's hot out there, that's for sure. All 
Right. Wind's going for it. <laughs> okay, Tracy, at that two minute mark and 20 seconds, if you want to hop off and do another round of Murph, you can. And then maybe do a quick sprint to finish, depending on how much time we have left. There she is. Final round, final round. Two minutes left. Five burpees, 10 push-ups, 15 air squats. 30 seconds left. If we finish the Murph, go out for a quick run, bike, and row. Fifty seconds. Forty. <laughs> Thirty. Almost there, ladies. Two eighteen minute stations are coming to an end. In 20 seconds. Good call, Janice. <laughs> 15. Finish strong. 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, done. Done, done, done. Done for your Tuesday morning. Have a lovely hot day. Janice, have you been by your pool? Every day. Every day. I imagine. Good one, everyone. Morgan, you did well considering your injuries. Thanks. Yes, yeah, thanks, Morgan. That was a tough one. Holy moly. Yeah. It was very tough, and it is hot out here. Oh. Yeah, but hot now I get room. to I, I get to go and have uh, to my hair appointment today. So exciting! <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy. 